Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we are well on our way to finishing the first phase of renovations here in our 1975 double wide fixer upper. We finally get flooring installed in three of our five bedrooms, and we're building bedroom furniture for our youngest son's room. I tell you what, it took all day just to build a few pieces of furniture, so today's video is going to be in two parts. But if you're interested to see how much we were able to accomplish in just one day, then I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all happy and well. We're doing great, especially now that we're almost finished with our first phase of renovations. I'm so excited because we finally get the flooring installed in the three bedrooms that we've been renovating over the past year. It looks gorgeous and I can't wait for y'all to see it. Now that the flooring is installed, we can finally move Granny and two of our three boys into their new rooms. In today's video, we're focusing on our youngest son's room. I ordered all of his new furniture from Amazon, and of course it came in a thousand pieces. It literally took all day just to build a dresser, a bed, and a bedside table. We had high ambitions, y'all. Tim and I thought we could build all his new furniture and decorate his room in the eight hours he was away at school. I wanted to surprise him with a brand new bedroom when he got home, but unfortunately we didn't meet that goal, but that's okay. He was pleasantly surprised by what we were able to accomplish. I'm so in love with the vinyl plank flooring that we bought at Lowe's. They did an amazing job on the installation. The floor is exactly what I wanted, and the color is gorgeous. It really warms up the room. It's a waterproof, scratch-resistant vinyl plank flooring by Pergo, and the color is called Cask Aged Oak. I don't even recognize this room from the dump that it was when we bought the place over a year ago. Tim worked so hard gutting and renovating the three bedrooms, and its hard work has really paid off. There were more than a few times that I didn't think we'd meet our goal of finishing the three bedrooms by our April deadline, but sometimes I think Tim must be a miracle worker because he pulled it off. He did an amazing job, y'all, and I'm so glad that we were able to share the journey with all of you. But now, if you're ready, it's time to get busy. We've got a lot of furniture to build, so let's just get into the video.
I think Max and Willow are just as happy as I am. Don't they look so cute in their St. Patrick's Day outfits? I have a shirt to match them, but I couldn't find it today. Oh, well, maybe next year I'll be able to find it just in time to match my puppies. I know it's corny, but I have fun with it. Well, y'all, here we are in my youngest son's room where we're going to go ahead and get started building some furniture. Like I mentioned before, I really thought we could build all his furniture and decorate his room all before he got home from school. Well, I was sadly mistaken. Don't get me wrong, we got a lot of work done in just one day, but there's still a lot more to go. On this day, we managed to build a bed frame, a bedside table, and a dresser. Oh, and Tim installed the curtain rod. Our game plan is to get our youngest son's room all set up so that he can get settled in, and then we'll be able to focus on setting up Granny's room. Our oldest son wants to build his own furniture, so he's taking over the reins in there. I have a clip that I'll share with y'all of his empty room with the new flooring, but he has decided that he doesn't want his furnished room to be shared to the internet. I completely understand where he's coming from, and we will respect his wishes. But don't worry, we have plenty of other rooms that we will be sharing. This is a black metal extra long bed frame that I ordered from Amazon. The brand is Tupeak Mark and the listed price was only $39.99 with a $30 delivery fee. So the total price on this metal bed frame was right at $70. Do y'all want to know a little secret? Well, I totally didn't even see the delivery charge. I thought I was getting the deal of a lifetime. I was like, wow, $40 for a metal platform bed frame? Heck yeah, you can't beat that price. That was until I got to the checkout. Color me surprised when I saw the total due. Oh well, I still think it's a great price and it seems like it would be a nice bed for my youngest son.
surprised by how many pieces this bed came in. I'm not going to lie. I was a little overwhelmed by how many pieces there were, and I had to call Tim in for reinforcements. Putting this bed together is definitely a two-person job. The directions were pretty easy to follow, but it still took us about an hour to assemble the bed. I'm a little nervous now because Tim and I purchased a metal king-size bed similar to this one for our room, so there's no telling how many pieces are waiting in that box. Since we upgraded our son into an extra long bed, well of course he's going to need an extra long mattress. This is a 10 inch gel memory foam extra long mattress by Novilla. We've bought this brand mattress before and it's very comfortable.
right, y'all. Up next is the curtain rod. I chose an industrial wraparound blackout curtain rod made by Refreeze, which I also got on Amazon. I went with the industrial look since this is a boy's room. I also think it matches really good with the black metal bed and the black door hinges. I asked Tim to hang the curtain rod for me because I was too worried about messing up the brand new sheetrock and paint job. It never fails. Anytime I hang a curtain rod, I end up with more holes in the wall than Swiss cheese. I have faith Tim will nail it on his very first try. Okay, so now it's time to build a bedside table. This is a nightstand with a charging station and USB ports made by Yaharbo. Did I mention that everything in today's video was bought on Amazon? Non-sponsored by the way. 
Tim wished me luck before leaving the room, so I assumed I was on my own to put this one together, but I'm pleasantly surprised when he comes back in and starts to assemble the table for me. I tell you what, you never really know what the quality is going to be when you order online, but I have to say, I'm very impressed with this small bedside table. It's very well built, and I really like the charging station. We're always looking for a charging block, and now he has two built right into his table, which will come in real handy.
every bedside table needs a lamp, right? Well, I found this lamp on Amazon, and I think it's really cool. It has a dimmable lamp with a glass shade. It also has two power outlets and two USB ports. I tell you what, between the bedside table and this lamp, my son shouldn't have any problems finding some place to charge his phone and game controllers. It's gotten pretty late in the afternoon and the boys are going to be home from school soon, but we still have a dresser, a desk, and a chair to assemble. Unfortunately, Tim has errands to go run, so that leaves me to try and assemble the dresser on my own. I can feel time just slipping away and I realize we won't be able to finish all the furniture assembly before my son sees his new room. But that's alright. As soon as he came through the back door, he could see straight into his room, and the look on his face was all I needed to know that he was excited to see his room finally coming together. He came in and spent the rest of the afternoon with me while I assembled the dresser and even helped me build it, so it all worked out in the end. He was very understanding because just like me, he can see the finish line. He knows it won't be long now before he has his very own room. Up until now, he has always had to share a room with his brother, so needless to say, he's very happy with the progress that we've made. Alright, well let's go build a dresser. a tall black dresser that has seven drawers and the brand is Effects, which I found on Amazon. I want to be completely honest with y'all. This dresser is cheaply made. I give it about six months before we'll have to replace it. Unfortunately, I can't return it because I ordered it way back in January, so we're well past the return by date. This was a hard, expensive lesson to learn, y'all. 
oh well, it is what it is. I mean, it looks great, and hopefully we'll get a little bit of use out of it before it falls apart, but I definitely don't recommend anyone buying this dresser, that's for sure. ready for spring y'all i know i am i can't wait for the dogwood trees to start blooming and all the trees to get their leaves back i bought a bag of wildflower seeds that i can't wait to spread all over the hillside it's a pollinator blend that's supposed to attract hummingbirds honeybees and butterflies i want to attract as many little pollinators as i can to help grow our vegetable garden this summer Tim bought a blackberry bush, a raspberry bush, and a blueberry bush that we can't wait to get planted. And it's taken every ounce of self-control not to run out to the local nursery to buy all the apple, peach, and plum trees that I can find. I'm so excited to grow an orchard and garden, but we still have a lot of work to do to get our garden patch ready for planting. Right now, we are focused on getting Granny and the boys moved into their new rooms, but come April, we'll shift our focus to the outdoors for a while. I tell you what, after a long year of renovations, we're ready for a much needed break and some fresh spring air, that's for sure.
Well, we're getting there, y'all. It's all starting to come together. I just have to finish building the seven drawers because Tim is still out running errands. I tell you what, I wish there was more time in the day in order to finish these projects, but unfortunately, it's getting late in the day and the sun is starting to go down. I'm going to have to wrap this up soon. I still need to pull together something for dinner. Nothing fancy this night. Some of us had soup and sandwiches while others had leftovers. Do you all have nights like that where you just don't feel like cooking so it's a thin for yourself kind of night? I try to make a nice dinner at least four or five nights out of the week and then we usually get takeout at least once per week. But there are just some nights that I don't feel like cooking a huge meal so we'll end up having something easy like hot dogs, fish sticks, or like tonight, soup and sandwiches. All right, y'all, let's go build the drawers. a little sad to finish the boys' bedrooms, y'all. Right now, their desks are set up in the living room, so they're kind of forced to spend time with me and Tim at the moment. But once their rooms are finished and they're all moved in, well, I imagine we won't be seeing very much of them for a while. And I don't blame them. They are teenage boys, and they deserve their own space. But I'm going to miss hanging out with them in the evenings. Would y'all believe this dresser actually took me four hours to put together? That's crazy, y'all. Well, I mean, I had to take breaks to pull dinner together and to look after Granny while Tim was gone, but four hours seems ridiculous. Let's just say the next dresser I buy will be a pre-built dresser, that's for sure.
doors down and just one to go. We will have to build his new desk and decorate his room tomorrow because I've run out of time for today. Other people may have built three pieces of furniture a lot quicker than we did, but we just don't move as quick as we used to. But that's all right. I really enjoy spending time with Tim and my son today while building furniture for his new room. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I want to take a minute to say thank you all for showing up for my videos no matter what I post. Whether it be cooking and cleaning videos, or mobile home renovations, or even our outdoor videos. Y'all always show up and support us no matter what we've got going on, and I really appreciate it. These videos are like a diary of our life, and I can't wait to have them to look back on one day just to see how far we've come in our homesteading journey. Well y'all, that's about it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to talk to you in my next one. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, y'all.